Tesla just secured a deal with world's top lithium company friends in ongoing 4680 battery push. You know, friends, Tesla has noted that it expects its two newest factories to start initially operations by the end of 2021. This suggests that Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin in Giga Texas facilities would like to see a ramp in their operations in 2022. Couple this with the fact that vehicles like the Cybertruck and Semi, both of which are expected to utilize the company's new 4680 better battery cells might finally see some production next year and it becomes no surprise that Tesla is securing supply deals now for its product uh, for its cars batteries welcome back friends this is Armin Hari I'm from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up for more follow-ups Tesla signs a contract for a supply of battery grade lithium production with China China's Gunfeng Lithium, as the expansion of battery production is one of the main goals of the manufacturer, the contract was signed for three years starting from 2022. China's Gunfeng Lithium Co. Ltd. and its subsidiary GFL International Co. Ltd. have signed a contract to supply battery-grade lithium hydroxide products to electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla, according to Reuters. The world's leading lithium company by market capitalization has previously supplied battery grade lithium of electric vehicles including Tesla. Eva Fox and Reuters report from Tasmania that the new contract envisions the supply of metal for Tesla over a three-year period starting from January 1, 2022 to December 31, 2024. Gunfeng Lithium said this on Monday in a filing to the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. The amount that Tesla will pay under the contract has not been announced as it is still awaiting the processing of an order from the manufacturer of electric vehicles. Lithium is an important basic metal used in batteries, which are the lifeblood of the rising new energy vehicle sector friends. Having access to this material defines a manufacturer's leadership and can ensure that it can produce large quantities of cars, says Eva Fox from the Tasmanian. Now, um, having said this, this is what I want to also share with you. I kind of lost my pr uh, place, to be honest, but let me jump up to my place where I was uh, speaking uh, and uh, Tesla's aggressive battery strategies are starting to become evident now with all of these contracts with lithium apart from the company's ongoing ramp of its in-house 4680 battery production pilot line at its Cato Road facility the company is also placing massive orders for batteries from its suppliers reports from China also indicated that Tesla has placed an order for 45 gigawatt hour world of lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries from um, Cattle, uh, contemporary Amperex technology, which is enough for nearly 800,000 Model 3 standard range plus and Model Y standard range units. Tesla's battery partner in Gigafactory in Nevada, Japanese tech conglomerate Panasonic, has also unveiled its own 4680 battery cells which I shared a couple of days ago. Kazuo Tadanobu, the head of Panasonic's battery unit, was optimistic about the new battery, noting that the large cell yields five times the capacity of smaller pro models. Panasonic also noted that it plans to start test production of its 4680 battery cells by March 2022 in Japan. Big news, friends, the capacity of the 4680 batteries, um, uh, uh, some people say, isn't noteworthy price is what's all about if tesla succeeds in halving the price it's pretty much untouchable for the next eight years unless some revolutionary battery technology comes around from toyota or from other companies well let me know your thoughts what do you think this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news join our conversation and give us thumbs up if you like this video and find it informative god bless you peace be with all of you and your families and let's move on to the next Story Tesla friends. CEO Elon Musk says he will sell $6 billion worth of Tesla stock today 
to help end world hunger. However, Musk has also asked the UN World Food Program to address his concerns and explain to him publicly how the money will be used to solve world hunger. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up if you find this report helpful. So after the recent run-up in Tesla stock price, Elon Musk has once again reclaimed his short-lived position as the richest person in the world. Musk is currently worth more than 310 billion dollars which makes him the first individual in modern history to have amassed a net worth north of 300 billion dollars and as the richest person in the world there have been increased calls for musk to help out various social causes indeed rich wealth comes with rich responsibility break a great wealth comes with great responsibility and everybody will be asked according to the amount he was given in in this world so not to mention the increased uh, scrutiny he is facing with the u.s government proposing a new billionaire tax that could cost him as much as 50 billion dollars in the next five years friends this is tremendous amount of money to earn so it is important to share with the poor help the poor and um, be compassionate to people who don't have as much as we uh, enjoy in the western civilization and the last call for elon musk to share his wealth comes from the director of un's world food program david beasley beasley's call for elon musk's help began on october 19 when a surge in tesla stock price saw elon musk's net worth increase by six billion dollars dollars in a day. At the time, Beasley wrote, 42 million people are on famine's edge this year. An unprecedented global crisis spiked by COVID, starvation, destabilization of nations, and mass migration. If we do not respond, Elon Musk, you made $6 billion just yesterday, the exact dollar we need to avert catastrophe. Please help you shouldn't turn this down if someone says please help have you ever said no to a person that says please help so Beasley followed up his plea the same day congratulating Elon Musk for passing Amazon founder Jeff Bezos as the world's richest person and said as a celebration he will offer Elon Musk a once in a lifetime opportunity to help save 42 million people from starvation for just 6.6 .6 billion dollars offer expires soon and lives to do and lives to do for whatever reason musk had largely ignored beastly's requests which prompted the letter to go on becky anderson's show on cnn and make the same plea once more on the interview, Beasley reiterated most of the points he had already made on Twitter and followed it up by, saving, by saying just last week Elon Musk had a $36 billion net worth increase in one day and emphasized how a small slice of Musk's net worth could help save millions of lives. CNN followed up the interview by writing an article titled 2% of Elon Musk's wealth could solve world hunger, says director of UN Food Scarcity Organization. Musk appeared to not agree with CNN's headline and responded to a tweet fact-checking CNN which read 2% of Elon Musk's wealth is $6 billion. In 2020, the UN World Food Program raised $8.4 billion. How come it didn't solve world world hunger hunger musk in his response said if world food program can describe on his twitter thread exactly how six billion dollars will solve world hunger i will sell tesla stock right now and do it musk followed up saying but it must be open source accounting so the public sees precisely how the money is spent to my uh, opinion this is fair Beasley responded to Musk's offer saying his organization never said the $6 billion will solve world hunger permanently and that it is a one-time donation to save 42 million lives during this unprecedented hunger crisis. Adding the $84.0 billion World Food Program has raised so far has been used to cover what we needed to reach 115 million people in 2020 with food assistance. Beasley added, we need $6 billion plus dollars 
now on top of our existing funding requirements due to the perfect storm from the compounding um, compounding impact of COVID, conflict and climate shocks. In Beasley's defense, he admits CNN's headline is wrong and if you actually listen to his interview embedded in the CNN article, he never claimed the $6 billion would solve world hunger, but rather will be used to feed the 42 million extra people in need of food assistance this year. Elon Musk, on his part, only made the promise to sell Tesla stock on the spot and offer it to World Food Program if $6 billion could solve world hunger. However, Musk never made the promise to offer the money to feed the 42 million individuals in need of food assistance. To, in my uh, opinion, this would be a noble thing to do. As of now, we still don't know if Elon Musk believes the cause is worthy enough for him to still sell his Tesla stock of uh, or if he felt like Beasley's answer wasn't good enough for him to do so. We will be sure to keep you posted, friends, as more information comes out. Make sure to visit our site, torquenews.com slash Tesla, regularly for the latest information because we publish several stories on Tesla each day. So what do you think? Do you think Elon Musk and the remaining billionaires have a moral responsibility to help out in such kind of crisis? If you were in Musk's position, would you have donated the $6 billion? Let me know, friends, your thoughts down in the comment section below. I believe this is important to help the poor in this world. We have become, in this Western civilization, all about money, all about Tesla, all about stock, all about cars. Everything is all about material things. And you know, I've said repeatedly, this is one of the reasons I don't own stocks, because I don't want to enter that world. I don't own Tesla stock. I'm not in the stock market. I have been there before, about 10 years ago, um, even before Tesla, but I quit stock market and just wanted to do a business and just work and feed my uh, family. Uh, friends, but it is important to help the poor. There are lots of rich people who own Tesla. There are lots of rich people in this world. A small amount of people own the wealth of the majority of the world. It is big responsibility to help the poor. This is why the poor are next to us. And if you are a believer in God, if your faith, uh, you believe in, in, in God, and it is important that, that we remember that those who are given much, much will be required from them. Those who are given much, much will be required from them. It is hard to do that because we kind of need to help to a degree that it hurts, that giving hurts. But you know, if you have $10 billion and you give away $1 billion even, which is a huge amount of money, it really doesn't help, does it? That it doesn't. It uh, really doesn't hurt, does it? That's what I meant. So I don't know. Let me know what you think, friends. Do you um, uh, do you think Elon Musk and the remaining billionaires have a moral responsibility to, to help out in such kind of crisis or help out the poor in general and regularly? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you, and let's move on to the next story.